How to add color swatches to Shopify product page. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and adding color swatches to your product page on Shopify definite game changer. And in case you are wondering what color swatches is, for example right below the price right here, you can see four different colors. And if I were to tap on any one of the boxes, you can see that the color of the photo right here or the color of the shoes changes as you can see right here. So this is what is called color swatches. So this will work with any product that you're selling that comes in different colors or different styles. And this is very good as it will improve your conversion and so on on your Shopify store. Now how to add it? The first thing you will need to do once on your Shopify admin page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select apps. After selecting apps, you are going to tap on app and sales channel settings. Then you are going to tap on Shopify app store. Once in the app store, I want you to tap on the search bar and from here you are going to type in color swatches. So tap on the search bar and from there you are going to type in color swatches as you see right here. After you have done that you will be redirected to this page and from here you will see numerous apps that you can use as you can see right there. But I would recommend that you use this app the Glow Color Swatch as not only is it free but it is also highly rated. So we are going to tap on glow color swatch. Then we are going to tap on add app. After you have selected add app, you will be redirected to a new page on which you are going to tap on install app in the top right hand corner. Just give it a few seconds to load up and we are going to tap on install app. After selecting install app, you will be redirected to this dashboard and you can see the application is loading. Just give it a few seconds to load. Once it loads up, this is the dashboard right here for Glow Color Swatch. And all you have to do is scroll down a bit and tap on Let's Start. After you have selected Let's Start, you can see the app is processing data. After it has finished loaded, you can see right here the display style. So you can see color and you could tap on display style and if you would like to change it to automated variant image swatch, you could do that. But for this example, I will leave it at button and you could also scroll down and you could select drop down list. But I'm going to select button. After you have done that, you are going to tap on next, next step. And once you have selected next step, you will be led to this page right here. And from here, you will see the swatch and you can see an example of how it will look. So let's say, for example, you want the swatch type in to be a square instead of a circle. You could do that and you can also edit how the square looks, the radius right there. And you can also edit the size of the swatch from small to medium or if you would like it to be large. But for this example, I'll keep it at medium and I will also stick with the circle and you can scroll down. And if you would like to add bordering, you can do that. You can also see right here, swatch over effect. You could do that also. So you could tap on add glow or you could tap on add shadow. So you'll be able to do that. And you can also zoom in on the image when you hover over it. So you could select that and you can also scroll down and you'll see size change on hover. So if for example you want it to change size when someone hovers over the product, you could do that. So you could select whether you would want the size to reduce, increase or to rotate to left or right. You can do that also. And again, as you can see, this is the example of the swatches as you can see right there. By simply tapping on them, you'll be seeing that the color has changed and you can select whether you'd want it to be left, right or center. You could select the alignment and you can also enable or disable the carousel. Then after you have done that, you could scroll down and you can see right here how the template will look. 
this is how it will look at the moment as you can see right here and again if you would like it to be large you could drag it to large and you can see right there the difference so you can simply glide along to the size that you want and you can also edit the spacing as I said earlier and you can get an example of how it looks on the side right here once that is finished you are going to tap on next step and from here you will see the general settings so you can scroll up scroll back up to the top and from here you could reorder the option so you can re you can reorder options on your product page and collection page if you want by toggling this and you can also see how the sold out image will look and you can select the image size as you can see right there and you can also edit other things like for example the add to cart button and all that and you'll simply scroll back up then you're going to tap on next step again and after selecting next step from here you are going to see the option to publish so you can see add global swatch app to embed block so to do that all we are going to have to do is tap on go to team editor once you have selected go to team editor you will be redirected to this page and you want to ensure that global color swatch is enabled as you can see right there once it has been enabled you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to select save after you have saved it all you'll need to do now is go back into glow color swatch right here and from here you can tap on see swatches widget so you could tap on that or you could select preview and you'll be able to preview the changes and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and by the way if you would like to make any other appearance changes all you have to do is go at the top right where you see appearance and from there you could select product page and you can make any changes that you want hope you found it helpful if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe